of course, when it comes yeah. to the grow, I wrote the first four drafts, but it was based first of all on uh, James O'Barr's comic book. Yeah, of course. And yeah. and then um, uh, Dave Scow, of course, came on and and did a lot of important writing on it, and and so we sh we share uh, credit, you know, okay. with co-writers of it. But uh, uh, Scow did a lot of great things for that story, and. Um, it still, you know, it still uh, holds up. It still holds up. People, sh they show it at festivals and things. And I, I gave a talk uh, when they had it at a, a local um, art theater recently. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that as far as like your collaboration with it. And, and I mean, I know it's a lot different. I mean, it could be when you see two folks credited to a screenplay, it could be one guy came in there and he did a treatment or it could mean that somebody mm -hmm had one great idea and it got implemented. And so now well, he's on the credit. If, credits, if so. it's just the treatment, he probably doesn't get a screenplay credit, but, but okay. uh, I, it happened just like, you know, there's one guy going around a certain producer who says that he found the comic book, but not true. He, it was a long time ago and perhaps he misremembers. I, I uh, was writing uh, I down ideas for, breaking into comics. I wanted to break into comics. I'd written, yeah. published books, but I, I thought, wouldn't it be great to break into comics? So uh, I looked for comic book companies that were kind of, I thought they would be more accessible if they were independent and, you know, kind of a, a little bit in, in a niche or something. And I, so I went and looked through a store uh, and, I, and um, I found this one company, uh, Caliber, and I and I sent them my idea for something called Angry Angel, and the guy wrote back and said, "Well, this looks good, but it's too much like something we have from James O'Barr called The Crow. We've just published a couple of those." So I went out and looked for The Crow, and uh, I thought, "Wow, this looks like a movie. It's so cinematic because O'Barr is influenced by movies. You know, he's influenced influenced by Japanese uh, samurai films and and by." Uh, Sergio Leone westerns and okay. film noir and things like that. It's very uh, atmospheric, very theatrical. Very atmospheric and also probably uh, horror films like um, uh, Dra the original Dracula film, I would think. Yeah. So uh, um, he kind of blocked things out like that. It looked like uh, a storyboard, a, a movie storyboard, like, you know, uh, which is something Alfred Hitchcock created, as far as I can tell. Hmm. Um, so Obar uh, created this kind of movie on the page, and I, and I thought, and what a cool story it would be uh, on the screen. So, uh, so I, I and uh, Jeff Most, uh, a producer, took the, uh, the Obar comics to um, Edward R. Pressman, who was doing some kind of adventurous, uh, edgy things at that time. He, he went on to do Wall Street and other famous films, but Okay. Um, he was into it and, uh, and eventually got it set up for us. And I, I wrote a treatment. Uh, so I'm the guy who wrote the treatment first, yeah. um, how to turn it into a, into a movie theoretically. Yeah. And, um, then I wrote uh, four drafts and then I had kind of a falling out with one, another one of the producers, uh, who I won't name. And, um, I uh, stepped down and Dave Scow came on. Um, the main thing though, is that the, you know, the um, visually um, James O'Barr's work really influenced the movie. And of course the general arc of story is all from him too. Yeah. Gosh, that uh, must've been tough. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I was really into it. So I kind of enjoyed doing it. Yeah. I, I worked in some, some other things I worked on. I worked on a movie. I did a movie for the movie channel at one point and I kind of was onerous and I did another movie, which I don't even want to name because I hated the way <laughs> it came out. Oh. I, uh, I did get paid for it, and, but um, it's really a, you know, an awful film because they, they just lost half of their budget and they just threw out half of my story to, to compensate. So it made no sense really. Um, that sucks. It's like, well, at least I should get to write a different story for their, for their new budget. That would have been a nice thing from the 
to have done. Yeah, that. but that's true. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, some of those were not really good uh, experiences, but writing for the Crow was mostly a good experience. It's very interesting. 